there is something that I want to respond to. Uh, a lot of people, not actually, I shouldn't say a lot of people. I want to, I want to be real here. The majority of people recognize what I am saying about these new artists. It's nothing personal against these individuals, like Ice Spice and like Sexy Red, but rather to point to why on earth these individuals would oh. be paid platforms, tons of followers, and Grammys for the non-music that they are making. Okay, you should not. For the non-music that they're making. What's crazy, like, take a look at her image right here. Just She looks disgusting. She looks like a bug. And the thing is, you know, when I say her, I'm talking about the image. The image that she portrays out to everyone else, as if to influence everyone else, that this is what you should look like. This is how you should portray yourself. What I find so interesting about these discussions, when you put a magnifying glass on certain components of black culture, you'll often get black women that will say something to the effect of, look at you talking about us always. This is why we are the least protected. But the very thought and our energy that you put behind supporting images like this of yourself is absolutely insane. The music within the culture is extremely influential. And if these are your queens, then you can have them. Tons of followers and Grammys for the non-music that they are making. Okay, you should not win a <laughs> Grammy. You should not be up for awards if this is the kind of music that you make. Some right. people wrote to me in the comments and said, Sexy Red supports Donald Trump, Candace. So look who you are distancing yourself from. This is a person who, who likes Donald Trump. You should be platforming this. And apparently I went and I dug up and it is true that Sexy Red was a Trump supporter or is a Trump supporter rather. Okay. This is her speaking on a podcast this past weekend with Theo Vaughn from four months ago. Take a listen. Do you think more people are gonna support Trump now in the hood like or no? Yeah, they support him in the hood. Cause at first I don't think uh, people was with him like they thought he was racist, saying little. Then they got and, them checks, you know, against women. But once he started getting black people out of jail and giving people their free money, <laughs> oh baby, we love Trump. We need him back in office. Yeah, that, a little bit of free money goes a long way. We huh? need him back. Yeah, that's a fact. Baby, them <laughs> checks. <Yeah. laughs> oh yes, them stimulus checks, Trump. We miss you. So two things uh, can be true at the same time. Right. Obviously, it is a good thing that Sexy Red is standing up against the racist narrative that is always trying to stop black Americans from voting against their interests. Obviously, uh, a better a better candidate for black America would be Donald Trump, which is why I supported him rather than the Democrats who are hell bent on destroying black America via a ton of ways, welfare policies among them. And to be honest, my least favorite thing that Trump did was the stimulus package. So that's something that I would love to discuss and dispute with her. But mm. also, Wonder sexy why. red and the music that she distributes is harmful to black America. What Very she true. represents is harmful to black America. Very true. I am not going to say that because you vote like me, I am going to support the music that you are putting upon the youth in black yeah. America. Can Sexy Red change her mind? Can she become somebody else? I hope, this is what has always been my hope for Cardi B, right? That they actually recognize that they are being used to peddle filth to the black community like drug dealers. It's not about recognizing it. They recognize it, but they're willing to sell their soul to Satan for the bag, for the dollar. And in case you don't recognize just how severe what I am talking about is, this is what has been making the rounds in the media over the last couple of days. Sexy Red just had a baby. She literally just gave birth. And she decided to share some photos from her in the hospital and make some fun music while she was giving birth. Take a look at some of these photos. Yes, that is Sexy Red bent over, uh, touching herself. Yes, obviously we have censored this photo of her with her legs spread in just a really disturbing manner. There's no other way to say it. This is, this is actually disturbing. It should disturb you. There's something funny about this. This is crass. This is debased. This is no way a mother should act at all. But of course, this makes its rounds in the media. And what is the response to a young black person that is seeing that this person is getting attention? What is the response to any young individual if they recognize that, okay, I can become famous and I can get quick money and my music will be distributed if I'm if I have no shame. So I actually went to her Instagram to take a look at the reception that this collage of photos is receiving. It's got over one million likes. What's interesting though is some of the top comments, black women, y'all should be ashamed for glorifying the things that destroy our society. This is so embarrassing. You a grown woman be serious for once. So sad to see and shorties praise this shit. Hate everything 
about her. Obviously the likes on these comments not getting as much <laughs> likes as the likes on this actual photo and also probably because of my algorithm I'm seeing those type of comments before any of her support comments. Love or hate Candace Owens the fact of the matter is she's absolutely right here. What is this signal to those that look at this type of content irrespective of the comments that go against the type of behavior consolidated within black women culture. Because whether you like it or not, the youth will be influenced by the type of content that comes from her. Whether or not they listen to it themselves or they hear it from another classmate. I'm calling out all the parents. If you're a parent and your child is in pre-K to elementary school, elementary school to high school, I'm calling you out. Having to teach and work with you guys as children has been the most traumatic experience of my life. They don't respect any authority. You ask them, can you stand in your designated spot? They're telling you no and shut up. You say, can everybody sit in their spot? I don't want to, I'm not doing that. You don't get to tell me what to do. You're not my mom. You confront the parent. The parent tries to argue with you and fuss at you because you tried to reprimand and redirect their kid. And another thing that's heart wrenching is horrifying. It is horrifying. Your five-year-old daughters are asking to listen to Pound Town and Ski Yee. Your daughters, your five-year-old daughters are asking, can we hear Pound Town? I'm playing them Princess Tiana ballet music. And they are asking me, can we hear Pound Town? I don't know what to do and I'm so scared for these little girls today because this is the most insane insane agenda push I have ever seen why is you guys as five-year-old's daughter singing pound town right if I remove myself from shame if I put my body all over the internet if I'm constantly selling sex and I'm talking about drugs and hip-hop this is rot in the black community I will never support it doesn't mean that I have a problem with sexy red personally in fact i'd love to have her on the show That's i would talk image. to her about this because i think it's going to start with an awakening all of these artists have to understand that they are being used hollywood is being used and as i've said on multiple episodes it is not just black america it is all of america the music has become filth there is an effort to make people stupid, to load them up with drugs, and to make it so that they cannot be successful. I am convinced that America has become a slave colony, and the purpose of which is just to fund endless wars and to not even be able to comprehend what it is that we are doing outside of our own borders. Her saying that it's not just black culture is absolutely true, but let's keep it a buck. Who is leading it? Who is being used as pawns to promote filth, ratchet behavior, and toxicity? It's consistently black women. They try it with black men, and actually Cat Williams was giving you guys a little bit of an introduction of how they try it with black men, and some of them sneak in there and do it, but it's mostly black women. Name a sexy red in another culture. Name a Sukiana in another culture. Name a Cardi B in another culture. And even if you find onesie twosie here and there, they will not be the overwhelming majority as what you see within black culture. Shit, I just did a video not too long ago and Planned Parenthood is using this obese, Medea looking overweight black woman in order to tell women that there's no such thing as losing a virginity and that increasing your body count should be seen as gaining something because yay women, you're sexually liberated now. Shout out again to Candace Owens and again, whether or not you love or hate her or you know value her perspective on black culture for this topic right here, you can't tell me that she is wrong. Where's the lie? I think that these type of musicians should always be under intense scrutiny for the things that they do. Because without that intense scrutiny or these conversations that we can toss up for critical observation, then these people will continue to sell out and run amok in a culture that's already struggling. 2024 is gonna be year of the truth tellers. I'm calling it. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Me go to tourismreviews at gmail.com. Guys, let me know what you guys think about this particular content down in the description box. Excuse me, the comment box down below. I seem to always do that recently. And let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys soon. Until next time, YouTube. Peace. And shout out to Candace Owens.
You don't wanna see me get vexed Marks on your phone, tell a man you can't jet The big girl, the ones who can't stretch Breaking the neck when we in the car next You don't wanna see me get vexed Marks on your phone, tell a man you can't jet The big girl, the ones who can't stretch Breaking the neck when we in the car next Dead bars, need a fibrillation ASAP Get boxed with a straight gap And remind that the mind state they lack Every time they incline, we go way back All they wanna be is just 